In this video I will show you how and from where you can choose the right Vine version for the game that you want to play on Linux or for any Windows application that you want to run on Linux. In order to run Windows applications on Linux we need a compatibility layer and this compatibility layer is called Vine. Running Windows games on Linux is no different and choosing the right Vine version can be a bit frustrating. But before we start, welcome to the channel. Here you can find topics about Linux, Docker, game dev or software development in general or short agile dev art. If you like that kind of content then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the necessary links from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps so you can skip any part of this video. Today my launcher of choice will be Heroic Game Launcher and you can use this one to install games from Epic Store or from GOG Store. But it's not limited only to those games, you can also add custom games to this launcher as well as custom Windows applications. In the previous video I added one custom game to the launcher by the name StarCraft which is from Blizzard and I also added a Windows application to the launcher Notepad++. So yes, this is how it looks like when you add Windows applications to the launcher and it works really well. If you are interested how to add custom games or Windows applications to the Heroic Game Launcher then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. As mentioned all of those use Vine in the background, so what happens if you choose the wrong Vine version? The best case is that you will get some performance problems or in this case right here, if I run this game, the game or application will simply crash. So let's see which Vine version is used here. Under settings you can see the Vine version that's being used and also the prefix which was set up based on this version. As we saw this Vine version does not work well with this game, so let's see where the version is coming from. Go to Vine Manager, here you can see a list of latest Vine versions that you can choose from and previously I used this version which is at the time of recording the latest one. So this would be the obvious thing to do, just take the latest version and hopefully everything will work, but in our case it doesn't work. Now maybe you can pick some older version and you have two repositories that you can choose from. You have the Wine Glorious Egg Roll repository and you have the Proton Glorious Egg Roll repository. This doesn't say much, so let's open the GitHub repositories. First let's start with Proton Glorious Egg Roll and if you scroll down, you immediately see a big warning that running non-Steam games with Proton outside of Steam is not supported. So this tells me that it actually makes no sense to use this one with Heroic because it will probably not work. And I tried to pick some of those and it really didn't work. So if you are using Steam or playing Steam games then Proton Glorious Egg Roll is the way to go. But if you're using Heroic or Lutris then you have a different repository down here. Wine Glorious Egg Roll and this is actually the default repository for Heroic Game Launcher and I actually used the version from this repository, this one right here, 737, which is the latest version at the time of recording. Now if I scroll down, here it says that this one is meant for non-Steam games outside of Steam. This includes Heroic Game Launcher with their Epic Store games and GOG Store games. But if for some reason you really want to add a game from Steam to Heroic Game Launcher, then according to this one, you should stick with the previous Proton Glorious Egg Roll repository. So probably this is the reason why Heroic Game Launcher actually includes this other repository. Personally I did not try to add a Steam game to Heroic so I'm not sure if this will work, but according to this one it should. For some games they also include a custom build, like for League of Legends, they tag the build with LOL. Those custom builds are supposed to be used only with League of Legends and probably they will not work with any other game. So much about those two repositories. Now we know what those repositories are and that we should prefer this one, but we still don't know which version we should choose. What I like to look at is the Wine compatibility in general. This is the Wine application database where you can find the Wine compatibility ratings of different applications. It's not just for games, you can find other applications as well. For instance if you go to top 25 apps, here you can find the top 25 applications that work perfectly with Wine. And as you can see on the third place is Adobe Photoshop, although a very old version of Photoshop. Up here you can also change the application category. Let's take productivity for instance and refresh. Then you can see the top 25 productivity applications. If you want to search for an application go to browse app. Here you can search by different categories. I'm searching for a game and the name of the game is Shadow Tactics. Perfect, here is the game. Let's take a look. Down here you can see the ratings which is gold for the last tested wine version which is 5.9. So this tells me that the game was working at some point. 
And now here you can see the test results in more detail. Down here you can see which versions were tested, what the rating was and on which platform. And from here I can see the rating was getting better. Maybe there are some known issues. And there is one, so maybe this one is causing the game to crash. Are there any notes? Maybe some sound problems? And we also have one comment from 2018 regarding the Wine version 3.10. Now what all of this is telling me is that I probably need to check an older Wine version, 5.9 for instance. There is also another website where you can check. The website is called ProtonDB and this site focuses mainly on games. So let's search for Shadow Tactics. We are actually interested in the expansion, Shadow Tactics Ico's Choice. And here you can get feedback as comments, which Vine version was actually working. The last comment says here that it was working with Proton 6.3-8. So all of this is telling me that I probably need to use an older Vine version. Probably my best bet would be to find this version right here. So let's try to find it in the Glorious Eggroll repository. So if I search here for this version, then I can see the last one is 7.0, but we are searching for a version 6. Maybe we can find it in the repository. Here we are, 62 releases. Let's see. And now we can see the last one is 6.9, but we need 6.3. So we have no luck in this repository. We know that we should not use the version from the Proton Glorious Eggroll repository. Thankfully, we have two more repositories that I will show you. This wine repository is from Lutris, which is also a game launcher. And here we can also find custom builds for Lutris. Let's check the releases. The last release is 7.2-2, which seems a bit older, but all those Lutris releases are top-notch. If you want to try one of those, then I would definitely try the latest one first. And if this one doesn't work, then we can also find the older one. And here it is, 6.3. The oldest version here is 5.7 actually. The next excellent wine repository is from Bottles, which is also a kind of wine manager launcher application. And in here we have a few flavors that we can choose from. We have, I will call it the vanilla flavor, which is meant for Windows applications that are not games. And down here we have soda flavor, which is meant primarily for games. And also the old uh, coffee flavor, which is more of a backup if soda doesn't work. Again, if I would use one of those, then I would first try the latest version. And then if this doesn't work, then I will try to find the version that I'm interested in. So let's see if we can find the old version here. So we have 6.4 and then we have the oldest one, version 6. This now brings a question. What if we need a wine version that is really old, like version 4 or older? From what I have found, I would say that you don't even need to use such older versions. If it doesn't work with the newer one, probably it won't work with the ancient one either. But in case you really want to try it, here is how. On this Play on Linux website, which is also a wine manager and a launcher, you can find some really really old versions. If you go to Wine and Binaries, here you need to be careful to choose the right repository. We are interested in upstream Linux, 64-bit. If you run 32-bit, then you need to use this one. But let's say we want 64. And then here you have a lot of Wine versions, even version 1. something, which is 10 years old or so. So if you really need to, you can try one of those, but I would suggest to try newer versions first. Now finally, let's make the game Shadow Tactics work. Glorious Egg Roll doesn't work for me, so I will try a different one. I will try Lutris. And as I said, I will try the latest version first. So let's download that one. Download complete. Here it is. Now copy that one. Back to the launcher. And now here, let's open the directory where the previous Vine version is installed. This one here. Paste the new version in and extract it here. Perfect, here it is. We don't need this one anymore. Now I see it's one item inside. This doesn't seem right. And yes, this is actually the folder we want. So let's cut that into here and we can delete this empty one. And now back to the launcher. Library, Shadow Tactics, Settings, and here we want Lutris. Close Settings and let's try to run it. First we get the Vine Prefix configuration, that's okay. And here it is, Shadow Tactics, finally it worked. In the next video I will play this game, I will do a performance comparison between Linux and Windows with the same configuration on the same hardware, side by side comparison. The link to the video should be somewhere here on the screen, so if you are interested, watch it. And that's it for this video, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, if you like my content, if you think it's helpful, then please give a like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.